everyone. Welcome to UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank with Megan Como. I'm Andrew Catalan. UConn defeats Seton Hall 90 to 30 on Senior Day at Campbell Pavilion. All three seniors, Heather Buck, Caroline Doty, and Kelly Farris, find the score column. What a day for Farris. She joins the 1,000 point club, finishing with 18 points and seven assists. What a day for Kelly Farris and all the seniors here on Senior Day. Well, it's such a special day, one they look forward to, one that when they're freshmen, they never think they're going to get there and have it be them that walks out, gets the uniform and holds it up and has to fight back the tears. It's a really, really special day that's created this kind of life of its own here at Connecticut. It's kind of incredible how many thoughts can go through your head in a matter of a second. So when we come out here and know this is senior night and four years for her, five years have come to an end almost. You know, we still have about a month left, but um, it, it's incredible. And, and the memories that we've made and the family that we've we've been able to, you know, accumulate, um, it, it's pretty unbelievable to say that I was a part of it. Kelly Farris has done it. Kelly Farris joins the 1,000-point club at UConn. You know, I'm thrilled for her, and, and, and I know that she's not a big points person, but I, I think in the, you know, in the big picture of things, I, I think it's pretty, um, it's pretty neat that it will work out just like that. What she brought in since freshman year, um, she, she deserves all the accolades um, that you can have. And for her to score a 1,000 on her senior night, um, it couldn't have happened to anybody better than Kelly. That's some friendship right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, I've had a great five years, and so when they announced me, I was just excited and I was happy to be headed out there and getting my jersey. And then when they announced my teammates, it's... I'm going to miss these girls. These girls are leaving. I'm leaving. We're all leaving. Oh, my God, I'm going to start, you know? They enjoyed the ceremony. They, had, they walked out with their parents. But then they came out on the court, and they took care of business, and they took apart a Seton Hall team and ended up winning the game by 60, got everybody involved, and they built on what they had to build on. They lost the game to Baylor, but then they came back in their next game and they, I think they got better. You know, it's not something you conquer over a day. And I think we're making progress, and I think if we stay on top of it, the upperclassmen, um, like I said, we have one month to go, and if we want anything to happen out of that one month, that's up to us, you know, to stay on top of everybody and make sure mentally we're, we're focused. You know, the coaches always do a great job of making sure that, that we come in and, and trying to really um, impress upon us the importance of coming in every day and making improvements and um, making sure that as individuals we're improving because if we all individually improve, that means that we all as a group improve. You said everybody was involved. Brianna Stewart had 16 points. She hadn't, hasn't scored 20 since January 19th. She's been in a little bit of a rut. Most points she scored in about a month. How much does that mean for the freshman's confidence now moving forward? Oh, I think it's enormous. And, and I love the way that she got her points. Uh, not many at all from three-point range. It was all in the flow of the offense, attacking the glass, offensive rebounds. And it's that that kind of stuff, that hard work, just running offense, not thinking too much, that's going to be the key. She ended up impacting the game, you know, with follow-ups, offensive rebounds, you know, playing good defense, you know, just a lot of good things that she was doing. And uh, you know, I hope it's something that she can build on because obviously, um, you know, if you're able to get a game like this on a regular basis from Stewie, then that changes, you know, that changes the complexion of our team completely. That'll do it for the People's United Bank post-game wrap-up from courtside here at Gamble Pavilion. Megan Como, I'm Andrew Catalan. We'll see you again soon on SNY.TV.